Well, how's it going guys? Feels like it's been a while since I've properly talked to the camera. I hope wherever you are, you're, you're safe and you're healthy. That's the main thing. Crazy times. Crazy times in this world of ours. I don't know what it's like where, where you guys are. Um, I heard on the news this morning, it was two, but on the news this morning, it's on the way up here. It said that there's, there's nine confirmed cases in the county where I live. So that's, well, I don't really talk about it because I try and keep it private, but I, I live in upstate New York. And yeah, my county is on a state of emergency. My son's school is closed for the next five weeks at least um, 
my gym's closed, which <laughs> they took my membership fee for the month and then decided the next day that they were going to close. So thank you, YMCA. It's very Christian of you. <laughs> but yeah, my wife texted me as well on the way up here saying that they've been sent home from work. And I got an email this morning from Eddie Bauer. Well, actually, loads of places have been emailing me, stores saying that they're closing their storefronts for the foreseeable future. So I thought that this would probably be the last day for at least a couple of weeks that I'll be able to get out and do something like this because. I think it's only a matter of time. Today's Wednesday, March the 18th, sort of snuck away. There's, yeah, they haven't yet. People are still allowed to go out and stuff, but I feel it's only a matter of time until they put everyone on lockdown. Fish. So yeah, I, I've got plenty of supplies, which is good. I've been stocking stocking up on food I've been doing it the right way well I don't know if there is a right way or a wrong way but I've been buying extra food since the beginning of February like I haven't just gone out and bought a load of food every week when I do the the weekly grocery shop because that's what I do I just would buy a little extra you know I was there the other day and I was at Walmart the other day and it was like as soon as they were putting stuff out people were just taking like all of it which is just crazy and a little selfish but then again if you're not prepared for something like this then what what other option do you have so yeah <laughs> speaking of when I was in Walmart I um I had to sneeze uh, not because I'm sick, believe me, I've looked up all the symptoms online. It's just my seasonal allergies. I had to sneeze. So I followed proper procedure and I sneezed into my elbow, but everyone, <laughs> everyone in there turned and looked at me straight away. Like, I've, it felt like, have you ever, if you've ever seen Monsters Inc., that animated film, like where the guy comes out with the kid's sock stuck to his back and everyone just like <gasps> and then all the guys in hazmat suits jump on him and that's what that's what it felt like but yeah so well for any and for anyone wondering i actually i work out of my house anyway so i've literally just gone straight from my house into my car and then into the woods I haven't been anywhere, been to any stores and anything like that. But I feel when I get when I get back from here, this will probably be the last time you guys will see me for like probably two weeks, I reckon. Like I say, I'm not sick. I don't feel sick. I don't know anyone that is sick or has tested positive, but I feel like for the next two weeks... It's, I know San Francisco, talking to my friend who lives in San Francisco, they've already closed, shut up shop for like the next two weeks. And I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that like all states will be doing the same. The whole of the US will be following suit pretty soon. Which isn't the worst thing. I mean, obviously it's not great, but and one of the reasons I haven't been on an overnight trip like this in a while is because obviously I've been having problems with my knee and I've been in physical therapy and it seemed okay so my physical I've my last appointment is this week so my therapist pretty much told me like I needed to go out with a full pack on and do some hiking and see how it feels before I can release you and say you you're done and you're healed and honestly it wasn't great walking in here and I see, I'm pretty sure I know what it is because I've I mean walking with the heavier pack doesn't help but it's it's the snow like it's the post holding I mean I'm not post holding very far but it's that unevenness of like every time I put my weight down and then the snow gives way and you're like 
slipping and everything's uneven because in the parts of the trail that were melted, the snow's all gone. It felt fine, but on the sections where it's like the snow's still there, it's almost, it feels like it's hyper extending a little bit. Every time it's like the snow gives way as soon as you put pressure on it, that's when it starts to give me some problems. But yeah, I mean, I have a steak to cook. I haven't cooked steak in the woods in what feels like forever. And I set up a little shelter, a little half shelter. I wanted to do the pyramid style shelter that I keep seeing, um, but I couldn't, I just don't think that tarp's big enough. It's kind of tough when you're as tall as I am. I mean, I'm not like super tall, but at six foot, six foot one-ish. I'm on the taller end of things, so it's like using, I brought my 10 foot by 10 foot and it just is a little short, so I made, but the shelter I made is pretty cool, it's almost like a little half sized, three sided tent dealy, so it's pretty cool, it's quite low profile, quite small, doesn't take up a lot of room, so I've, I've never done that before. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's weird though. It's kind of odd because normally when you come up here, you want to disconnect. You know, you want to be out of the loop. You don't want to know what's going on. But actually, now that I'm here and I'm out of the loop and my phone doesn't have any service and I don't know what's happening in the world, it actually is like very strange because you want to know, you want to be in the know right now, you want to know what's going on. So it's weird, it feels weird. I don't like it.
Okay. Time to get this steak on. I made an error again in forgetting my seasoning. Which is just terrible. While that's cooking, it's time to enjoy an Allagash White Belgian style wheat beer with coriander and carousel orange peel. Cheers, guys. very cold. So very very cold. It's annoying that I forgot my seasoning. I don't know why I take it out. Actually I do because when I run out of it in the cupboards then I take it out of my camping gear and forget to put it back. Delectement. I don't know if that's a word or not. From Maine with love. I keep wanting, it's Allagash White. I keep wanting to call it Allagash Wilderness Waterway, but that's the canoe route in Maine. It's on my bucket list of things to do. Silver lining is one thing I remember this time was a plate, so hopefully it's this. Oh yeah. done I was deceived by one end it's all right though it tastes better than the last time I did it au naturel still need salt though eat this and I'll get back with you in a little bit
Well, it's dark. Dark, 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 but I mean, it's after seven, so that's nice. It's probably been two hours since I made that steak. Uh, it's pretty chilly away from the fire, to be honest. I could feel it as soon as I get up, I, I feel the cold. But with this little fire reflector going, I've got a nice little spot to to sit and perch by the fire using my spare clothes behind me as a backrest. Uh, I've got my sit pad underneath me and then I've also got my rain jacket laid out on the floor and it's, it's quite nice it's quite comfortable just sitting and relaxing I say relaxing I've relaxed for five minutes and then start thinking about what's going on in the in the real world and that just cycle keeps repeating itself But it's nice. It's nice. This is like my least favorite time of year as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, I I prefer being outside to inside any day any day but late winter early spring it's not my favorite just because everything's half melted and there's no leaves on the trees there's not really any animals out and about either like full winter or full summer and I obviously love the fall falls great but yeah late summer, early spring isn't my favourite but this is nice this is nice Weirdly enough, the, the fire smells like summer. I don't know if that makes sense for, to people, but it just does. It just The fire smells, genuinely smells different now than it has done all winter, burning wood. I don't know why. Maybe it's just that you can smell it better with warmer temperatures I'm not sure why that might be maybe it's just um, I don't know maybe it's the mold on the on the logs or something but there's a definitely a distinct smell that smells like summer is around the corner that fire's getting wicked hot now Anyway, guys, I'm just gonna sit and relax. And if anything changes, I will let you know. But apart from that, I'll probably see you in the morning. I don't know how well you can hear that. It's about 3 a.m. right now. I don't know if you can see. Oh, God. I'll hear it. It's a very Blair Witch. But the wind's picked up quite a lot. It was very still, very calm. I just woke up. And it's. I can hear it, it's pretty windy. That makes me kind of nervous. It's 
one thing I don't like. Well, the one thing that always is a little nerve wracking when you're sleeping in a load of trees is is wind. We'll see. Hopefully it calms down a little bit once it starts snowing. I'm not sure, but anyway, I'll keep posted. Well, good morning. Things are looking a little uh, different, shall we say. Definitely snowed. It definitely snowed last night. I f woke up from the top and come down. I was touching my head. So yeah, it was a comfortable night's sleep. I mean, it I woke up at three because of the wind, and then. Like I thought, oh, the wind stopped. And then my alarm went off at six. So I've got to turn it off. And there was snow. It was very pretty. I gotta get up. I gotta go. But anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.